I love reading even as a child. Every summer my mom blocked out time where we had to not play games, not go outside, but you're gonna read. And so readers become leaders, as they say. Um, and so I've invested in myself in reading. I encourage my students to read. So I chose three books out of my collection that I have in my office. Each one is very special to me. One of them starts with Martin Luther King. Um, this book is actually written in Hangul. So this is um, a very important book because I would have never thought to find something like this in a Korean bookstore. It's basically a story about Martin Luther King growing up in the South. Look how detailed this stained glass is. Became well known for standing up for Rosa Parks. And they did the bus boycott. There's pictures of the boycott. This just kind of sums up the story and the continued fight for justice for all. Freedom, peace, together I have a dream, love. And that was the message that he wanted to spread. The other book is Counting on Catherine. A story about Katherine Johnson and her life. A lot of people have seen the movie about her life, but this is a child-friendly book, and this is actually the character that I dressed up as last school year. But this book is more important to me because as a student, a lot of people don't know I struggled in math. And so to know that there was somebody that had a face like my face, was able to go all the way to NASA with her ability in math, I want to encourage other students, regardless of what they look like, that you know what, math may be challenging for you, but you can overcome that. And she was known as a human computer, because at the time we really didn't have a lot of knowledge on computers. She helped Apollo 11 astronauts walk on the moon because of her math. So this one is my most favorite book that I always read when I'm invited to classrooms to read to students, and it's about Aubrey's first flight. This book is about Anya, who is learning to become a pilot. Um, she actually got her pilot's license before she got her driver's license. Right, so amazing, but I watched these two young ladies grow up and to know that this one as a middle schooler authored a book about her sister becoming a pilot. And you never know in the friendly skies, you may see Anya one day because she's now a pilot for Delta Airlines.